Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to check out the work of John Powell. He's based in Redmond, um, USA. Um, he's a senior concept artist at Sucker Punch Productions. Um, he does use 3D sometimes, but uh, I do like his inks way more because um, they do have they're pretty dynamic and uh, they look comic like like you, you can see a lot of this kind of dynamicness is that a word no and like a lot of graphic novels and comic book um pages right and i do like seeing that uh generally right he does have like a lot of character designs in his um portfolio he does a lot of work for the ghost project it's some kind of game i think and uh, sometimes he'll use 3d code and some other like modo or some other programs but he generally does 2D, which I am a fan of, right? And I'm primarily going to be focusing more on his inks, although I do have a, a couple of pieces where I do want to uh, kind of explore, right? Anyway. Oh, by the way, he does have like a, an ink brush pack in his art station store, so if you if would like to kind of get the, a similar kind of look in your work, I do recommend you buy his... Um, custom ink brush pack um, he has like 29 i think custom brushes for that pack um, pretty cool and you know me i like my brushes right so check out his work um his art station store um and yeah he does like a lot of inks he's not a very he's not into the whole line work thing he likes to fill in a lot of um the shadows or the darks the blacks right and he uses that actually for his composition and um, it actually does have a bit of brush variety. He's obviously using his own um, brush pack, but it, even though it's all in black or all in ink, it does have a, that sense of variety. And maybe he does use photos and add a fil and adds like a filter. That's kind of my guess, but because um, he does the same thing for his like character designs, right? For his colored like flat, um, standard posed. Um, character designs. I think he does bash in some photos sometimes, but he mostly does the painting, which I do like. Um, and he has a lot of these um, inks, ink drawings, paintings, and they're very um, focused on the narrative. And someone does the, um, there's actually this kind of animation of it, like it, his inks become like some kind of um, animation. Um, like someone animates his inks. And they kind of help drive um, a certain kind of narrative or story, right? Look at the thing here, the beak here. It's so pretty. <laughs> Lots of, uh, there, there is brush variety involved. Again, even though it's kind of purely black and white or black and gray, um, it has that, it has enough variety to make it look somewhat interesting, right? Some of his inks look like charcoal. Like some of his uh, like darks or blacks look like they were done in charcoal. Um, some look like they were done in watercolor sometimes. Um, so it does have like a variety thing going on there, right? And again, he likes to fill in a lot of the space with darks, right? He doesn't like to leave a lot of white space, generally speaking. He wants to fill in uh, fill in a lot of the the shadows in his work. This is awesome. Um, we have like a splatter thing going on here. Maybe he probably just skewed this. Maybe he painted this splatter brush, or this splatter kind of thing on a new layer and then skewed it. Maybe he he transformed it, skewed it in his own way um, to kind of make it look like an actual kind of um, blood splatter, right? Or maybe it's some kind of custom shapes, uh, custom shape, who knows? Um, and again, it's very, very active, right? Very, very dynamic scenes here. Um, so uh, a lot of his inks are focused on this one project, the Ghost of Tushima. Um, right? Now, this was not really, uh, it's, it's, it's a bunch of knights. <laughs> um, Ghost of Tushima again. Um, they're like cut frames, keyframes. And yeah, he's most he's mostly into the whole keyframe thing when it comes to his inks. 
So maybe this is more project specific, right? Um, but he does more design actually based on his portfolio. Um, his more recent work involves like the inks, but he does more design, like environment design and character design. And this is probably just a bonus kind of thing. Oh, this this is his um, marketing thing for his um, ink brushes. And you do have like a video involved with some voiceovers, right? So check it out. These are his ink brushes. Check it out. I'll link the his art station in the description below, so no worries. Um, and he doesn't like to make it purely black and white. His black is actually kind of gray, and his white is light gray. I do the same thing, just because it, it's easier on the eyes. You know what I mean? Um, it kind of gets starting when you have like a big, like a pure white canvas, um, flashing in your fucking eyes, right? Um, Oh, I like how he was able to, uh, like, add this kind of smoke-like effect. You can even see some noise in the edges, right? Now, this is not... Uh, you can tell these are nights. So, this is this is not part of the Ghost of Toshima project. So, anyway. Some more black and white sketches here. Again, it looks cool. Nice ship design here. Um, and it helps to save time, you know, you don't even have to like go for the grayscale kind of painting You can just go for a pure black and white because you can establish a lot of the uh, The structure with just black and white, right? The composition, some design um, The silhouettes definitely, right? Uh, this one is more of a, it's a colored piece um, Maybe he did do some 3D Or maybe not um, the background does remind me of Sparth a bit. Um, he did bash in some rock um, photos here and then he obviously painted over it, right? Um, reminds me a bit of a Star Wars, I think. The feel of it, I think, right? Some more ink sketches here, medieval characters. Um, again, he doesn't like to go for the, the contour lines. He goes for, he likes to fill in the blacks a lot, right? And it looks good in a simple empty background like it's much more imposing but this one is more of like a light gray and a kind of a dark but not super dark gray um look at the brushiness of his it's very not necessarily impressionistic but it's very raw and it's kind of stylized a bit just a bit right he kind of skews the the, the anatomy of the the structure, right? It's kind of slightly skewed, and ob it obviously makes sense just because it's um it it adds more to the story maybe, like the if the design is kind of dynamic, it can influence the story. Who knows? <laughs> more pretty uh, sketches here. Ghost of Toshima again. I think he does bash some photos in maybe. It's hard to say. Um, now these one, these ones are purely like black and white and very very heavy on the shapes, right? And I don't think he bashed photos in for this one. Um, I think it's I, I think I feel that way just because of his variety of brush strokes. Um, so more of a grayscale. It's still like a black and white, but the black isn't too like black. Um, more of a narrative piece here, right? Same thing for this environment design. Um, something happened. Um, it's an aftermath of some kind of fire, um, war scene. Someone just died here. Um, reminds me a bit of the ink work of Kim jong Gi, right? Um, cause he'll do like the blacks first and then he'll, he'll kind of drag the paint around sometimes with his finger to kind of create that grayscale shading, right? Though, uh, John Powell has a couple of pieces where he, uh, um, does environments, right? And it also like characters, but I do like his environments more. And sometimes he'll use 3D, sometimes he'll just use Photoshop. Like, like in this case, he just used Photoshop, right? And it does have a very kind of, um, it's not super clean, right? But it gets the job done, you know what I mean? And uh, this is the type of work that I actually, um, I'm more interested in doing, right? If ever, if, if ever I'm going to do some design, it's going to be in this kind of level. Not super rendered, not really into that whole thing. I want to be the mood guy. <laughs> but then again, if, you know, if the market doesn't 
want if the, if, if the market is too full of that kind of person well shit um but yeah obviously for an environment like this like this it helps to kind of layer your your file your photoshop file just because there's so many elements involved right and you have to like manage the lighting a lot um yeah so yeah another 2d piece um and again you can tell by the edges he does layer the branches and shit because it's kind of sharp right and he does a good job of bashing in photos and it looks it, it looks good you know the colors are right nothing seems off um yeah this one seems more gamey you're like seeing it from like a a third person kind of perspective right um and based on his post i think he just used photoshop for this one pretty cool right maybe bash in a few maybe he did use a bit of 3d hard to say it's really hard to say um but according to him it's just photoshop so i'll take his word for it um but yeah Nice scene, love the colors, a bit saturated in some areas because obviously it's being hit by light. But I love the atmosphere. Um, I think he, uh, th this this was done maybe, like bits of it were done in 3D. It just feels like it to me. Um, anyway, um, this character though I think was done, like you can actually, it's so sharp of an edge. And you can tell like, um, it's just shape heavy, not a lot of rendering involved. Um, some texture or some indication of lighting coming off of the, the branches on top, right? Being casted on this character right here. Um, and I like the dispersion of light. It's not just in one area. It's kind of here, 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 here. You know, it, it, it's kind of spread out, right? And obviously the leveling is right. It gets grayer here, right? And gets darker. Very, very close to black as you go further or into the foreground, right? Um... And yeah, so that's it for this RGV of John Powell. I do recommend this inks, his ink work, way more just because it looks cooler. <laughs> but it does have some decent like designs in color, so um, you won't be uh, disappointed. Um, he also does have like a website, a portfolio website, so I'll be linking that as well in the description below. So that's it for this RGV of John Powell. Um, thank you for watching. Keep drawing, keep painting, and stay free.